Okay, I found myself an X-Acto knife. It's got a real narrow tip to it so I can get in there pretty easy and clean out that loose stuff. Another reason I wasn't making any sound is I haven't sharpened the edge of this yet. It's going straight in at a 90 degree angle, so it's just a flat surface right here on this edge, and it needs to slant in. Under, so I need to undercut it without filing the back edge of this off. So it's kind of tricky. You start off kind of at a steep angle, and as you get some of that inside edge worn away, you can angle your file down a little steeper. But you still got to try not to, I'm trying not to take any more off the front of this, or the lower, uh, off this edge, and I'm not, I'm trying not to uh, take any off the back edge. I just, I want, I just want to take it off the inside sloping into the in, inside of the flute. That's uh, roughly a 45 degree angle, but I don't think the angle is critical just as long as you have kind of a sharp edge. Sometimes when you blow across it, see how I get a little bit of sound? So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get some sound now when I blow on this. Corks in place, so I just slip this sleeve back on, bring it up right behind that hole, and let's see what it does. Okay, now that's kind of weak, but you can see that we're onto something there. So the trick is getting this hole clean, try to keep it no more than a centimeter wide going across the flute. And try to keep these corners square and clean as much as possible. Imagine if I look down in that flute, there's all kinds of yeah, there's all kinds of loose PVC. And if you got a stick with some sandpaper on it, you can run it up in there and clean that out. A uh, piece of uh, dowel like this with some sandpaper on it, and you just roll that around like that and clean it out. That'll take a lot of that off and make your flute sound cleaner and clearer. You cut a, some of it off of this. Another reason it sounds not very loud could be because we don't have quite as big a space here as, as we we could have. I'm not terribly unhappy with that. I would like a little large, a little bit more volume. And one thing you can do, if you believe, you can make this a little wider here. But now that I've got the holes, the hole made, you got to really be careful not to uh, to gouge that edges of that hole. So now, if I want to make this a little wider right through here, now I use a file and hold it nice and flat and just the file makes it kind of dirty, but let's see what we got now. That's quite a bit better. Now I've made mouthpieces for my flutes that slip in and they kind of match up with this hole where the I've got notches there for alignment. But you don't have to have a mouthpiece in there. Uh, the reason I recommend for your first flute not using a mouthpiece is that I had to take this off just a little bit to get it inside that three quarter inch pipe. This is half inch PVC and then I used a heat gun to squish this down and make that shape, and that's a little bit tricky too. Anyway, it looks better with a mouthpiece, is all, but it works fine without it. I can play it.
playing very well because I haven't been playing for a while and you always get rusty if you rest. Okay, now the next thing then would be to put a hole in here. And I've learned from experience that if you get your first hole too close to this, you might not get any sound. And I don't know if I have... Uh, I'm going to try just putting a hole about right here just for the fun of it. Okay. All the holes that I've made in... Uh, this is a different flute than the one I'm... This is a key of D, uh, G. It's a longer flute. But the reason I brought it out here is because I really like the way the sound works with these square holes. Uh, but the finger holes are all made with a quarter inch drill bit. So, I'm just going to carefully try to... Oh, it's a good idea if you're you're making the long flute if you've got like the lettering that's on the pipe already in line you can use that to keep your finger holes in line uh, this flute you see I've made the holes kind of match my shape to my hands I like that but when I switch back and forth between this flute and other flutes that causes me problems because my muscle memory wants to find this bottom hole over here instead of up on top so I recommend making them all in a straight line. Anyway, we'll just drill one hole right in here. And you see, I'm going kind of slow on that because if you go through too fast, as soon as it breaks through, It'll catch the edge of that PVC. And if it catches, sometimes it'll make a, a, a kind of a rough hole. It's not too good. Anyway, so there's a hole. So I've got a sharp little flute here. Let's see how it sounds. Not too bad. But I think you can kind of see how to do it, right? I hope I've covered everything. There is one thing I was going to say. If you don't have a piece of cork, you can get a piece of dowel that's just about big enough to fit in there. Get a dowel that's just, see it's a little smaller. Then it fits in there. And then you can wrap some electrical tape around it. Keep it on the end right there, and just keep wrapping around until it gets bigger and bigger. And what you'll do is, after you go around a couple times, you kind of experiment, and I can still feel it's loose. If it gets too big, I can always unwrap a little bit. See, I think. Okay. Now, see, that's, that's too tight, so I'm actually going to take a little bit off. But before I do, I might as well cut this to length. I can go ahead and do that with a hacksaw, or I could go over to my bandsaw and do it real quick. But, since you probably don't have a bandsaw, fast forward just a little bit. Okay, there you go, that's come off. And... I'll try to fit that in the PVC pipe and it's too big. Okay, it even needs a little bit more off. Trouble is, it's really kind of tough to get it exactly right because take too much off, then you gotta put some more back on. Anyway, even if I don't get that in there right now, you get my point where you can just make that fit and use it instead of a cork to be in that position right there.